What's up YouTube? Alright guys, we are back at Workout Anytime in Cartersville. 24-7 uh, fitness. And uh, we're going to get in here and do an arm workout today. Last time we did an arm workout, I, uh, I really struggled on the triceps because my elbow was hurting. I still got my wrap on. But uh, we're going to give it a better shot today because it's been about a week. So it's had about a week's time to heal. Because uh, I haven't done any really arm workouts. I mean, we did back and we did some other stuff, but I uh, gave it enough time. I was supposed to have a guest tonight, and uh, he was supposed to show up, but he was coming from a long ways away, so we're going to have to reschedule that. But, uh, yeah, so uh, getting off to a little bit of a late start because I was going to wait on him. But uh, we'll, uh, we'll get it, and uh, we'll do arms today, and uh, we'll throw something else at him tomorrow. So or the next time we come. So, all right guys, let's get in here and uh, knock it out real quick. All right, I'll see you inside. All right guys, so we are back in the gym. Um, we're gonna work, we're gonna try to work triceps first today to see if that helps with the elbow injury any first. So, I thought I was having a workout partner, so I was kind of thinking, okay, today I'll do some skull crushers um, for my triceps, because, you know, in case I need a spotter but he didn't show up, so I'm still gonna do them, but I'm probably just not gonna go as heavy. On this first uh, workout, I'm gonna do exactly what we did yesterday or on the last workout, and we're gonna do five reps, and we're gonna move up and wait until it becomes too much. Now, we are gonna do some more high volume training on other stuff, and even the next tricep exercise are gonna be volume, but uh, on this one, just because I don't have a spotter, that's how we're gonna do it. So, all right guys, let's get to work and uh, get these uh, skull crushers knocked out. All right, guys, so literally after the very first rep, I realized I wasn't going to be able to do uh, an extensive amount of weight today. Um, I could already feel it, so just adapted right then and there, decided to knock out 10 and gradually increase the weight, just do three sets of 10 like we've been doing instead of just trying to do five reps and, and really max out as much weight as we could um, until we couldn't do five reps anymore. So. Um, a little bit of adaptation, but uh, you just got to listen to your body and, you know, listen to what it's telling you. And, uh, you know, that's what I did. So, I mean, we, we got more tricep work done just now than we did on the last arm workout. And I'm about to go do some more. So, um, all right, let's get over to the next thing. But I, I did want to just break in real quick and, and tell you what I did. So, those are skull crushers. Um, I don't even know how much weight we were doing. It wasn't very much, but we did knock out three sets of ten. And... Uh, it, it did really stretch us out and, and feel good. So, all right, guys, on to the next one.
All right, guys. So sorry about that camera angle. I'm just trying to find a, a better camera angle so you can guys can really see what we're doing. Um, so I did two sets of 20. I'm gonna try to do maybe one or two more. I think honestly doing those skull crushers kind of, even though there was a lot of popping and cracking in the elbow, I think it really stretched it out um, doing the free weights first instead of the cable work. So um, it's actually not hurting too bad. I'm not gonna jump way up and weight. That last set was 60 pounds. Yeah, 60 pounds. Um, so I may jump up to 80, try to do it for 20. And then if that feels good, then we'll jump up to 100 and try to do that for 20. And that'll wrap that up. So I'm gonna try to get you a little bit better camera angle. You got one camera angle, then you got another one, and now you got a third one. So um, let's see what we can do with this. And uh, I'll get back to work. All right, guys, so uh, that fourth set, I was on 100 pounds. I only did 15, it was starting to get pretty tight, so. But I still feel like, uh, you know, a lot, a lot of improvement from the last arm workout as far as triceps go, so. All right, guys, um, I'm gonna go knock out some single arm, and uh, then we'll move over to biceps. Might hit some forearms, and then uh, that'll wrap us up, so. All right, I'll see you on the next exercise.
Alright guys, so we just finished up our tricep uh, single arm kickouts. Um, on that last set, you saw me uh, brace that arm with the wrap on it. Um, I didn't help with the movement, but uh, it did help, you know, stabilize that arm a little bit better. And I don't, I don't have any, well, I don't have any additional pain than what I had to begin with uh, after doing that. So um, that was helpful, and we got our three sets of ten, so that was helpful. And uh, I'm glad we were able to finish a tricep workout today after not being able to last week. So um, now we're going to move on to biceps, and uh, we're still feeling good after that. Then we may do some forearm, but if not, we may skip that and uh, incorporate it into something else, maybe shoulders or back or something, because it's, it's not much of a workout. So, uh, but let's get to biceps and uh, see how we're feeling with that now that we've kind of worn out the triceps. All right, I'll see you in just a minute. Alright guys, so we just finished up our uh, prison yard curls that we showed you on the last arm workout. We did the uh, five reps and then go heavier. So, um, got to be honest, my arms are pretty tired after doing all the tricep work. But I still feel like I got a uh, pretty decent weight on there. I wanted to go about 10 pounds heavier on each side. Yeah, about 10 pounds heavier on each side than what I got. But, uh... I just realized I kind of reached a stopping point. So uh, I'm gonna get on to the next bicep exercise and uh, it'll probably be something more high volume. And uh, as you can see, just like we talked about in the last video, I'm gonna be taking little little recipe, you know, little ingredients from each thing. So uh, we just did our strongman powerlifting style, doing the five, you know, the, the five lifts or five reps. And uh, now we're gonna move into our bodybuilding slash aesthetics where, uh, we do more high volume just like we did on our triceps so uh yeah just like you said just like you guys can see we're just pulling from a little bit of everything but uh it gives us good burn gives us good pump and uh it'll build muscle so all right i'll see you on the next exercise in just a second all right guys so i'm excited because uh i came up with a fun idea so i'm going to turn this around what you can see hopefully yeah. is we got our dumbbells here we start at 35. This is the top rack. You know, we did the bottom rack yesterday when we were doing chest. 35s, 30, 27 and a half, 25, 22 and a half, 20, 17 and a half, 15, 12 and a half, 10, 7 and a half, 5, 2.5, 2 and a half. So, hybrid workout, guys. We are going to do hammer curls. We're gonna try to do five reps. Now, we're gonna start at 35s, okay? We're gonna do five reps per hand. Set the weight down. Breathe for about two seconds. Then we're gonna go to the 30s. Do five with each hand. Set them down, breathe for about two seconds. On to 27 and a half until we do this whole rack. So that's gonna give us our super volume. And uh, yeah, it should be fun. Not real sure where to position this so you can see the entire rack, but I'm gonna give it my best shot and uh, just follow along because we're gonna start at 35 and work our way down to two and a half pounds. You'd be surprised by the time I probably get down to the seven pounds, 10 pounds, I might not even be able to pick them up. So, uh, but yeah, let's give it a shot and it uh, should be fun, so follow along.
All right guys, so I don't know if that looked as cool as it felt, but uh, yeah, we just did the whole rack. I'll turn around here. We just did the whole rack. What that actually equated to uh, was 65 reps. So we basically did 65 reps uh, with minimum pausing. So a couple of pauses, but I just ran it through, just ran the video through as well, um, and did everything from 35 all the way down to two and a half. So to be honest with you, it wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be, but I like the burn. So I think what I may do next time is we may add, we may start at, maybe we'll start at 45 or 50 and then work our way down. That should put us, let's see if that was 65, 70, 75, 80. That would put us at 80 reps. I think our goal should be 100 reps doing it this way. But to do that, I've got to be able to hammer curl 60 70s. Yeah, 70s. So that might be a little while. Um, I could probably hammer curl the 60s or the 65s. I don't think I can hammer curl 70 yet. Uh, maybe, but maybe not for five. I'm definitely not with my left arm right now. But uh, yeah, so I thought that was cool. That's actually gonna wrap up our, uh, our arm workout today. Um, we did a really heavy focus on our triceps that we didn't get in the last workout. And so I went, I'm not gonna say I went light on biceps, but I just didn't do as many exercises. Um, we did heavy weight um, and then we did a burnout. So um, we kind of got the best of both worlds there. Um, all right guys, well if you like this video and the other videos that we've done, don't forget to like this video down below and subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell to receive notifications. And uh, again, we appreciate all the support. If you watch this video and you like it, share it with a friend or a coworker. Um, you know, we get views on the on the channel, but we're not getting quite as many as I'd hoped. So again, if you like it, just share it with a friend. And also today, like I said, was my birthday. Um, I still came to the gym though, and I didn't have the cake. But uh, big shout out again to uh, Yaku Fit. Uh, he sent me a really nice uh, birthday greeting on Instagram, and I shared it on there. But uh, that was really cool. It made my day. So, uh, man, uh, big ups to you. And, uh, yeah, keep keep doing what you're doing because I, I saw a video of you doing, like, so, or a picture of you doing some cable crossovers, and you're looking, you're looking big. So, all right, man. Well, I appreciate all the support and uh, watching the videos. And, all right, guys, uh, we had a good, fun arm workout. And uh, until next time, I'll see you. 
Take care.